Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So if you just watched my video on things that doctors fail to tell you about kidney disease, I already have an update because I wanted to tell you guys that I've had a change of plans. So in the last video, I said I'm going to be doing a self-experiment for three months or less. It could be one to three months, depending on my VA doctor. Well, I've decided to push that off to the side and do something else first. After doing more research, like the more research I do, the more I realize that I do not trust in the EGFR test for its accuracy. I just don't trust it at all. My other blood work is good. I don't have high blood pressure. I don't have diabetes. I barely have sugar. Okay, well, that's not true, but I don't have sugar issues. Uh, so I decided what I'm going to do is pay out of pocket and have blood work done for the more accurate test rather than just the EGFR, which is calculated based off your creatinine. Like I mentioned in the last video, there is a more accurate test. I was calling it by the wrong name in the last video. I called it cystain C. It's called cystatin C. And when I first learned about it, it was through Reddit and a medical student told me about it and he said he called it cystain C or he misspelled it. So I'm sorry about that. Regardless, it's called cystatin C. And so I've decided to go have that done. I'm going to do it early next week. And my only issue is that I live in the middle of nowhere. If I really, really pushed or urged my VA doctor, like, hey, can I get this done now? She's okay. Like, she's fairly nice. I think she might do it. But uh, that's like about 70 miles north of me to go there. And I've had some quite unpleasant experiences at the VA, specifically getting blood work done where they are super unsanitary. And I have huge veins, by the way. I used to donate plasma. There are no issues in finding my veins. I could do it myself. But uh, she had a lot of problems and was extremely unsanitary and rubbing her dirty fingers all over them and not cleaning properly and not wearing gloves. So I'd rather not go there. And so I've decided I found a place where I can go to. It's 85 miles south of me. I used to, in the past, always uh, order through DHA Labs online and then go to a lab core, but I am so far in the middle of nowhere. I live in no man's land. We don't even have cell phone reception where I live. It's so in the middle of nowhere, but I like getting away from here. So tomorrow, not tomorrow, so on Tuesday, Monday or Tuesday, I've decided I'm going to go to this 85 mile away place and get the blood work done. I'm really glad that I found a location to do it. It's not LabCorp, it's like some generic brand place, but I can order through this website that I found and then go there and the price is really good. It's $40 for the cystatin C test. That price is like really fair. It could definitely be like $90, which I'm used to paying. Then for a full metabolic panel, which includes this normal EGFR and creatinine and all those other things, that I've had done like a million times, uh, that is only $19, so I'm going to get them both done. And then basically it takes about four to eight days to get the results. Once I get the results, I'll let you guys know. I'll do a quick little video update and share what my actual results are. I think it's really important to do this before I make any other major changes because I really need to know if I should even be concerned about kidney disease. Part of me is like, am I in denial? And then the other part of me is thinking... You know, I could have something wrong with my kidneys. I do sometimes have pain around that area. But besides that, I do have scarring on one of my kidneys, but it is mild scarring. And I think I know what that's from too, because many years ago when I was 17, uh, I don't want to get into a long story, but I was gallivanting around like a wild child hippie backpacker. Uh, around Southeast Asia. My mom was, now I'm telling you a story. My mom was a travel agent and I got that ticket for 75% off because I was considered a licensed travel agent at the age of 17, even though I wasn't. And so I got that cheap ticket. I saved all my money that I worked for and I went there. When I was there, I was in this area near Borneo, Eastern Malaysia, and I ended up having severe, severe, uh, I, I don't want to call it heat exhaustion. I genuinely believe it was heat stroke. I could have died. It was so severe. I'm very grateful I survived, but I was so, what led to it was such severe dehydration from being stupid and hiking very, very far in the middle of nowhere in the rainforest. 
uh, with no water because my friend and I were dumb and we ran out of water and we didn't know the basics of life, like bring water. And there were no people around and there was no way to get water. So anyway, maybe I damaged it at that point. I don't really know. That was my guess. That was my theory. Uh, besides that, part of me though still thinks and still hopes and believes that I am not in a, a state of kidney disease, that my levels aren't as bad as they seem. So I really do have some hope with this test. We'll have to see what happens. I want to share it with you guys because there could be others going through something similar and there could be other young people who are really concerned about what's going on and it might be nothing. So anyway, I just want to share that with you guys. Another thing that's going to happen when I go there to get the blood work, I'm also going to be getting Jimmy John's on the way back that I'm super excited about. I'm going to be getting a number five Unwitch, which is absolutely delicious. And I'm lucky I can eat that because I can't have bread, but it's still so amazing. And that just makes the trip all worth it. So I'm going to keep you guys posted and let you know what happens. And if you guys have any experience with any of this or if you've ever been tested for your cystatin C, I would love to know how that compared to your EGF, your normal EGFR calculated levels. So thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you guys soon. Take care.